In this video, we're going to be going over volume again. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the last video, though. As you can see, the whole base of our prism is filled up with cubes. Okay, the whole base is filled up with cubes. So before we start, in your head, I want you to think about one of the formulas for volume. Okay, what's the formula for volume? Hopefully, you're thinking volume equals length times width times height. Length times width times height. So we're going to be doing that again uh, today. And um, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this out. So volume equals length times width times height. And our length, for our length, we're thinking about from left to right along the front. And it's actually a little bit easier this way because all of our our cubes are right here so I'm not going to shade in the whole thing we've got one two three four five six seven eight so our length is eight then our width from the front of it to the back we have one two three four now if you notice in this cube right here we have two colors that's because it's in both the the row for the the length but and it's also in the row for the width then our last one is the height now this is a little bit trickier okay because uh, one of the traps that sometimes fifth graders will fall into is they'll look well oh look at that there's three so the height's three but these three are on top of this other row okay so we actually have a height of four so don't don't fall into that trap don't fall into that trap. So 8 times 4 times 4 is our uh, dimensions, our three dimensions for volume. And so 8 times 4 is 8 times 4 is 32. And then, uh, then if we bring down times our other 4, 32 times 4. And I'm going to do that off to the side just to make sure that I get it correct. So 32 times 4 is... 128. So our volume of this particular prism is 128. And again, we don't know the inches, we don't know the centimeter, if it's we don't know if it's inches or centimeters. So we're just going to go with units. And it's 128 units cubed. 128 units cubed. For the practice portion, we're with order of operations again, and our problem is going to be 5 times 4 plus 9 subtract 15. And that e equals 50. Now, one, one, um, one challenge for today is that you have to put in parentheses to make this true. So I'm going to start, and I like to just put them around the, the, the first two of them. And so um, to do that, well, this color, so 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm done with that. Then I bring down the rest of the problem, plus 9 minus 15. So 20 plus 9 is 29. Done with that. Subtract 15. Now, I'm going to stop there because I can already see that my answer is not going to equal 50. So I have, to, I have to go back. I have to go back and try another one. I've already tried 5 times 4, so I'm just going to go to... 4 plus 9 and see what happens with that. So 4 plus 9 is 13. Done with the parentheses. So now I go to or bring down the rest of my problem. Now with order of operations we do parentheses first then we uh, do exponents. There aren't any exponents. The next step is multiplication or division. Multiplication or division comes before subtraction, so we have to multiply first. In this case, it's going to be 5 times 13. 
5 times 13 is 65. I'm done with that part. So now I bring down my subtract 15. 65 subtract 15 is 50. So the correct answer for this um, is having the parentheses where I just did. 50 equals 50, so I knew I had the parentheses correct. If, let's say, that wasn't correct, I might have, uh, on my next time, I would have tried to do the parentheses here. Now, 9 subtract 15 is going to give us a negative number, so that would have been tricky in and of itself. Uh, but just keep trying that. If, if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, you might have to put parentheses around three different numbers. Okay? Uh, hopefully this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, make sure you let your teacher know, and have a great evening.